Joining us on the telephone from Asia is legendary investor Jim Rogers. Jim, good to have you on the program. Thanks so much for calling in. First, let me get your take on today's uh, sharp decline. Well, Maria, we, it's time for a consolidation. There's always a reason for consolidation when it comes. You know, the market went up for about 13 months in a row. Now we're going to, you know, correct for a while. So you think this is the beginning of a correction then? Well, in my view, yes. In my view, the correction should have started sooner. Uh, and we'll see how long it goes. But there's always a reason when we have a correction. Looks like this time it's Greece or who knows what. But we're going to have a correction. In my view, they'll last for a while. Jim, talk to us about those erroneous trades. David and I were just talking about uh, a situation that started, obviously, in Greece. We're looking at the protest video right now. But uh, really accelerated because of uh, thin volume and erroneous trades on companies like Procter & Gamble, Accenture, uh, 3M as well. What's your take on that? Well, somebody should hang the New York Stock Exchange. They claim to be the center of world capitalism or the world financial markets. You would think that in 2010 they could sort out simple things like electronics. It wasn't even a big volume day. Uh, it's just somebody at the Stock Exchange, we hope somebody's head will roll, and we hope they solve the problem. Well, you know, they're saying, of course, uh, over at the exchange, Jim, they didn't trade P&G any lower than 56, that, in fact, they're only 20, what, 7% of the market volume, and the problem problem is you just have computers doing everything without any human beings actually saying, wait a second, you know, that, that looks kind of funny. Well, how did the computer, you mean the computer just all of a sudden said, I'm going to take Accenture down to one cent? <laughs> well, you get, you know, you get these black boxes out there, as you well know. Cent. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's what we want to talk about. I mean, David and I were just talking, how does this happen? How is it possible? Now, the, just to be fair, Duncan Niederauer on the show today said that they stopped trading some of these stocks for 90 seconds to assess the situation. There was heavy selling, heavy sell orders, and heavy volume in companies like Procter & Gamble, so they stopped trading for 90 seconds, and they believe that in that 90-second period, the, the orders went to an electronic trading uh, place, David, and that's where the where, erroneous trade Where P&G, at least, you happened. know, traded down. Yeah, we don't know the answers. You know, and Jim, we simply don't know exactly what went on today, but one thing we do know certainly is that there's continued concern about Greece, that Trichet did not do much at all today to ameliorate any of the concerns out there in terms of what's going to happen uh, in the EU. What are your thoughts when it comes to the overall possibility of restructuring for so many of these indebted nations? Well, as I've explained to you all before, 2010 and 2011 are going to be years of currency turmoil, uh, not just in Europe, but all over the world. And Greece is bankrupt. We can paper it over for a while, just as we papered over some of the problems in the U.S. and the U.K. But the problems are going to come back. Uh, without, This is not a solution. This is just pushing the problem out to a, another day, they hope. All right, so, so Jim, gonna, what, what do you do right now? What, we what, solve some problems. what do you do now, then? I know that you've been long commodities for a long time. You've been right in that trade. You, you also were long the dollar for a little while. You're still long the dollar, and what are you going to be doing tomorrow? Uh, or obviously, the, the markets in Asia are open right now. How are you tra trading this? Well, I'm doing nothing. I'm sitting here watching the markets. I, I'm long the yen, fortunately. I am long the U.S. dollar, fortunately. Unfortunately, I'm long some uh, euros. Uh, that's not helping me at all today or, or yesterday. But so far, so good. As you know, I think, Maria, I didn't have any shorts for about 18 months. In the last month or so, I started putting out shorts again in a small way. Uh, you never have enough shorts when things collapse. But I, I think people should be looking for shorts or defensive positions because we're going to have problems for a while, at least in my view. All right, All right. Jim. Jim Rogers, thank you for uh, joining us on the telephone.